Hello and welcome to Yoga for Neck Health. As I was preparing this video, I started to think that this could very well be the most important, the most useful video for just about everyone. So I think of my athletes, uh, baseball players, you know, when they're batting and their head is, you know, cranked, or, you know, basketball players constantly turning, looking, uh, wrestlers have, you know, in all kinds of positions, and then just, just everyday life with checking our phone and checking our computer and you get that what we call tech neck you know sleeping wrong i mean just everybody at one point or another can have some sort of neck issue so we're going to focus today on the cervical spine which is the top portion of your neck however since everything's connected we're going to do things that are going to lengthen and strengthen the entire spine as well just hopefully giving you some relief so just starting to come to our breath here, just placing the hands on the legs, coming to a nice easy seat, and just take a nice deep inhale and exhale. Two more, inhale, exhale, inhale, Exhale, and then just lowering the chin towards the chest. And then we're just gonna do some half circles. So just taking that right ear over to the right shoulder, feeling a nice stretch in the left side of the neck. And then come back to center, taking it to the other side. So left ear to left shoulder. This is a great exercise to do in the morning. When you first wake up, lots of kinks when we sleep sometimes and then coming back to center. Bringing the chin down to the chest and then slowly lower it all the way back. So taking a side twist here, you're gonna take your right hand behind you, right behind your sacrum, so right in the middle of your hips, and you're gonna take your left hand to the outside of that right knee. We're gonna take a side twist here, but before we do so, anytime we take a twist, I always tell you to lengthen the spine. So you're gonna use that right hand to press into the earth. So feel like the crown of your head, like someone's pulling you up with a ponytail to the ceiling. So you're creating space in the, in the lumbar spine, and then you're gonna use leverage with that hand to take a side twist turning the thoracic and the cervical spine. So that right gaze, or the gaze, is coming over that right shoulder. So you really can't take a twist unless you're lengthened. And take a couple breaths here. and then slowly bring it back to center. And then just switching hands. So left hand comes back behind you, right arm comes to the outside knee. So what I mean by lengthen, if you're down here, if you're crunched over like we typically are, and you try to twist, you're not gonna go anywhere. There's no space. So using that left hand, press into the earth. Grow proud and tall, and then you'll find that it's much easier to take that twist. So chin comes over that left shoulder, breath in, breath out. And then slowly bring it back to center, walk your hands out in front of you to a tabletop position. So the hips are overneath the knees, the shoulders overneath the wrists. Nice flat back here, the, cur or the toes can be curled, or tops of the feet can be planted into the earth. On the inhale, you're gonna drop the belly, lift the head and heart for our cow pose. And then on the exhale, you're gonna round the spine, chin to the chest, think of a Halloween cat. 
Inhale, drop the belly, lift the head and heart. So we're just doing flexion and extension of the spine. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, drop the belly, arch the spine. Exhale, round the spine. And then slowly bring it back to center. From here, you're just gonna walk your hands back and you're gonna sit on your heels. So the tops of the feet are planted into your mat. The knees are slightly spread out, not exactly touching, but maybe just a couple inches away from one another. So we're gonna come into rabbit pose. In rabbit pose, we're coming onto the top of the head. So that doesn't mean the forehead, that doesn't mean the back of the head, it's the top of the head. So it's almost like a massage for the top of the head. So as you're gonna have a little bit of pressure, which is going to help you strengthen this cervical area, when we do things on our head too, it's also bringing um, blood to the brain, so it's energizing us. So this is kind of, you know, if you're just feeling kind of sluggish. And at the end of this practice, we're going to do some preparations for headstand. We're not gonna go into a full headstand just yet, but we're gonna do some, some preparations to get us there. So, coming into rabbit pose. You're going to begin to lower the torso down onto the thighs and come again on the top of the head, not the forehead, top of the head. Now the head can either come walk back towards the knees or the knees can walk up, but either way you're going to lift the hips up towards the ceiling, grabbing the feet. So you're trying to draw the feet towards the knees, knees towards the feet. So you should feel a little bit of tension here. It should feel good, actually, a nice massage, strengthening of the cervical spine, so just staying here for a few breaths. And then begin to come out of that. And then we're gonna walk forward coming into an up dog. So you're just gonna walk the hands out. You're going to ex come back to a high plank to start. So the toes are curled. And then you're gonna drop the hips down towards your mat, draw the shoulder blades together, and then flip the feet. So the tops of the feet are planted into the earth. So as we draw the shoulder blades back, we lift the heart, we lift the chin, and then take that gaze over to the right. So right shoulder. Then slowly bring it back to center. Left shoulder. Back to center. So again, just getting into the whole spine area here. And then dropping back to the knees, just pressing back, coming down to a seat, and then just swing the legs over here, extend the legs long, and we're gonna come all the way down for our next pose. So our next pose is shoulder stand. Shoulder stand is again, the legs are gonna be elevated, therefore the blood is rushing down. Uh, so this is a good pose if you're ever feeling sluggish, like late afternoon, you just need to pick me up because blood's rushing down in the opposite direction, just kind of creating some, some energetic lymphatic flow. So from here, start with the hands by your sides, but I want you to tuck your shoulder blades in. So just kind of wiggle walk them in a little bit because we're gonna place our hands on the back of our sacrum. So they wanna be tight, so the elbows are sort of in. Bring the knees into the chest. Extend the legs long, feet flexed up to the ceiling. Using your hands, press into the earth and begin to elevate the hips up to the ceiling. And then you're going to grab, so you're on your upper arms here. The hands are coming to the top of the hip bones. So this might be enough. So notice that the chin 
is tucked down towards the chest. So you should feel a nice stretch in, again, the back of that cervical spine. And then option, you can stay here and shoulder stand, or you can begin to take the legs over behind your head for plow. So this is just a little more advanced version of the pose. And then if it's in your practice, you can extend or yeah, take the feet away from each other slightly. And you might even be able to get the toes down into the earth. Just wherever you are is perfectly fine. You're stretching out the back of that cervical spine. And then your last option here would be to bend the knees and draw the knees on to either side of the ears. If you're a wrestler or a very flexible person, you can get into this pose, but just be wherever you are. And then wherever you are, just begin to unwind, unravel, make your way down to where we started. And then bringing the soles of the feet into the mat, we're gonna come into bridge pose. So again, another spine, shoulder opener, heart opener, but a lot's going on in bridge pose here. So the soles of the feet are planted into the earth. You're gonna draw your heels towards your hips. So you don't want them out far. Draw the heels in, take the hands down by your side. You might even be able to touch the heels with, with the fingertips. Again, we're wiggle walking the shoulders in, we're pressing down with the soles of the feet, and then we're gonna lift the hips up towards the ceiling. Now the hands can either stay here at the sides, or they can begin to wiggle walk in, and you can interlace the hands behind your back. Just takes a little bit of, you know, reorganizing the body to get there. So the chin is down towards the chest, so you've got that nice roundness in the back of the spine again. The base of the head is into your mat, coming into your breath. Now I know we're focusing on the, on the spine and neck here, but there's a lot going on in bridge pose. Your thighs are probably talking to you. It's a whole body workout. And there are some theories on bridge pose here. You can either engage the glutes which gives you just a little bit of a different feel, or you can release the glutes, and the way you do that is try to push your feet towards the top of your mat, like you're pushing your mat away, and feel your glutes disengage. So you should feel it more as a quad stretch here. So again, just a different, different theory. The great thing about yoga is you have to do what works well for you and your body, and that might not be the same pose as the person next to you. So keep your neck straight. You probably shouldn't be looking to the right and to the left like I'm doing right now. Keep your neck straight. And then go ahead and release. Let the shoulders roll out. Release the upper back, middle back, low back. From here, you're gonna straighten the legs. We're gonna come into fish pose. We're just taking the neck in the other direction just to balance everything out. So you're gonna come up onto your forearms. Draw the shoulders in. Legs are extended straight. Draw the navel in. Lift the chest and then begin to lower the neck back. So just releasing the tension, we're just going in the opposite direction, we're flexing, we're extending. And then slowly come back to center. Walk the hands up and we're gonna come up to our Headstand prep. Again, we're not going into full headstand. That's another video, but this will kind of get you. Headstand's actually not as hard as, as you think it is. So when we go into a headstand, think of a triangle, right? So your head is in the front, your hands 
are behind it making a triangle. So if you think of a tripod or a three-legged stool, it's, it's in a triangle. So a camera could not stand on a tripod if it, the legs were one, two, three in a straight line. It just wouldn't happen. Physics wouldn't let that happen. So head, hands, hands. You want to make sure that we're working in 90 degrees. So as you bend into the arms, notice my wrist and my forearm 90 degrees. And then when you come down, another 90 degrees between the elbow and the shoulder. So we're just gonna do the first couple stages just to get you ready. Again, we're going on the top of the head, which is creating some pressure, pre creating some tension, but it's releasing actually the, the vertebrae in the neck. So just placing the hands about hip distance apart here, spread the fingers wide, and then just take the top of your head and make the point of your triangle. So this is step one of a headstand. Again, making sure you're on the top of the head, not the forehead, you're on the top of the head. So the neck is nice and long, nice and straight. And then from here, second step, if you wanna curl the toes, you're just gonna straighten the legs. That's it, just straighten the legs. And then if you wanna take some movement with this, we can drop to the knees, straighten the legs. Drop to the knees, straighten the legs. So just feel that and try to make this an equilibrium triangle here. So feeling pressure, the hands, notice the 90 degrees. So all that pressure is not the top of the head, it's distributed. And then slowly make your way out of it. So you're on your way to a headstand, which is a great strengthener for the neck. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Please subscribe to the channel and have a great day.